what you want to do is you want to go and create and i cannot do this right now actually over here we have a bit of an infinite mirror effect going on i can't click on the profile button because i'm currently recording right now but the way this works is you create a separate profile and you import the settings like the scenes and whatever you have from the current profile you have. In this profile over here, I am currently recording my screen. This is what I use. This is the profile I use to record my gameplay and it has everything. Like if we go into settings, I these are my settings over here. So this is for streaming and recording. Yeah, bitrate and everything. So you have this one profile being set to record your screen. And then you bring in this other profile, and I don't know if I can, uh, if this is going to show up properly in uh, OBS. You have this other profile that's uh, recording my camera. I do not know what mess I'm creating on my screen currently, some multiple infinite mirror effects. I have a separate instance of OBS running with a different profile uh, running my camera separately. And here's the important thing to uh, to note, uh, other than you have, to, you have to create two separate profiles. When you go into the settings, be sure, and I've tried this myself, be sure when you set your output for recording, be sure to set the, to set the recordings to two different files. Do not have both instances um, saving recordings to the same file on your computer. So you want, I have one here, you know, slobs, you know, OBS, because I was using Streamlabs before, so OBS recordings over here. And then on uh, on this other instance i have on this other instance of obs you can see the output is slobs double width or just a different name whatever you name it whatever you want the important thing is not to have both of your recordings go to the same file because the files will end up com corrupted or incompatible as i've tried in my own experience and you, it's just not just limited to camera honestly if you want to record multiple scenes it's not just limited to your gameplay or camera or whatever if you have multiple scenes that you want to record assuming you have a gpu that's powerful enough and i am using the nvenc encoder by the way and i'm not having any problems i'm not having any problems with the recording performance i have 15,000 bit rates or uh, on both of them at at performance at 1080p as well so i'm having no issues running this yeah, my hardware specs are down below it's also important to set your hotkeys if you want to synchronize your recordings you want to make sure your recordings are synced nothing is more annoying than having one a recording out of sync and you have to figure out to try and edit it to fix it up in editing and try and synchronize them in editing so make sure to set your uh to set your hotkeys in both profiles to be the same the same hotkey so i use f9 to start and stop recording in both of these profiles so i just hit f9 and both of them start recording at the same time it's perfectly in sync i do not have to worry about it the thing i want to bring up there's another solution to this that i tried uh, that other people will recommend i do not recommend it and that is to uh go into the settings over here instead of recording two separate scenes you change the output you change the video um dimensions you double the width of the video so instead of 1920 you double it to 3840 so that you have and then you have the camera on one side and the gameplay on the other side i do not recommend that because it gets really difficult on editing depending on your editing software I, it depends on which editing software you're using but i use davinci resolve and it gets really awkward to try and snap um to try and snap the recording to a certain resolution to get it to fit into the window and then to crop your camera and overlay it over the over the gameplay but it just gets really complicated editing so I, I i heavily recommend you use this solution that i gave you over here that i went over where you have two separate two separate profiles being recorded at the same time both of them in the same resolution 1080p 1080p and they're very easy to edit with when you import them into your software and that's it so that's uh, basically uh, that's basically a rundown of how to record multiple scenes in obs quite uh, it's uh, it's honestly quite simple when you consider everything that's going on here thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you hopefully in one of my videos Bye bye hey there thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you're new to the channel i do let's plays for strategy games like total war city builders like city skylines and frostpunk open world games like zelda breath of the wild and first person shooters like battlefield 1 and metro 2033 you can hop onto the discord and join in all the fun and if you want to show your support further you can hop onto my patreon subscribe and get access to exclusive benefits thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time Bye bye